in my glasses. <laughs> <laughs> trying to be cute anyway happy monday it's 12 47 you guys my system's down at work of course the day that i'm ready i'm sitting at the off sitting at my desk ready to chug away at um some assignments i have my system is down so i just um finished editing the next vlog and submitting it to the brand for approval and payment hello um and so now I finally found my pink tape measure. It was in my car all along. Anyway, I finally found that. So I'm going to go upstairs in baby boy's room and measure the length and the width of the wall, the accent wall that I'm thinking about putting the removable wallpaper on because I found some that I'm interested in from Etsy but I need to measure the wall to see the spacing, which means I'm gonna have to move this stuff from the wall because this back wall is it. These stripes are already here. I'm gonna paint over them before I put the um, wall before Ronnie and I install the, uh, the removable wallpaper, obviously. But yeah, so I'm gonna measure from top to bottom first and then I'll do left to right and I'm gonna let you guys kind of watch me do that as much as possible I have my tripod here um and I'll just put it up on the dresser hopefully you guys can see can y'all see me hey y'all hey y'all okay so I'm so glad that we cleared this room out because it's just the start of greatness these holes, the old owners had stuff hanging on the wall. So we're gonna have to close up those holes. I'll actually probably do that today and show Ronnie that I did it because I'm so excited about um, getting some stuff done. But anyway, let me put this, and I'm including the baseboards just because I wanna have space to cut off so that it'll go to the ceiling. So let me tell you what this is so it looks like i have eight foot ceilings right here right so eight feet right by and this is going to be hard because this thing is flimsy so i have to do half hate this one. I really hate this one. Ronnie doesn't like it either. So this is eight feet right here. So eight feet by, let's see what this side is. Ah. You guys, this is so ghetto. Get you a better tape measure. I have a better one. It's just in the theater room right now because we're using it down there. Eight feet by, I need to pull a little bit more out. Okay, Lord. <laughs> I should have bought in a pen or something. Hold on y'all. I'm just gonna estimate because I need it longer anyway. So let's just do eight feet by five and a half feet because five feet about is about right. So let's do what's half of this would be 65 inches, right? Eight feet by 65 inches. Let's try that. Hold on, let me write that down, y'all. Okay, you guys. I have wrote that down. Eight feet by 65 inches. Um, I wanted to go to Home Goods yesterday, but I never made it because we went to go see Ronnie's mom. So, um, who, update, she called 
this morning, well, this afternoon, just now, and told me that everything's looking good. All of her vitals are back up and they're going to make the decision this evening whether to send her home today or not, or today or tomorrow or not. She'll still be on medication for a while, but she's doing really, really well. So thank you guys for all of your prayers. We really, really appreciate it. Like seriously. Um, and she sounds a lot better. So that's good. Um, but yeah, I was supposed to go to Home Goods. I didn't. Baby girl's at daycare. Ronnie is working the night shift tonight, so he doesn't go in until like 7 p.m. So it'll just be me and baby girl tonight. And my system is down at work. So I'm trying to decide whether I should just go to Home Goods while my system is down and go by myself in peace, or that'll give us something to do this evening together. Just wait and get her and go together. I don't know. We'll see. But. I also wanted to measure that wall so that I can inquire about the price of the removable wallpaper. I also got to figure out the lighting situation in here because this fan has to go. Um, and then, yeah, Ronnie asked me, did I want to keep the curtain rod? I don't really like it, so I'll probably let that go as well. Yeah, tell him to take it down and then putty the holes. And yeah, I don't know. So I'll talk to you guys a little later. Bye. Um, what else? I wanted to tell you guys one other thing, but I don't remember what it was. So if I remember, I'll come back on. But yeah, I just wanted you guys to get to get get to see every step of the process with his room. And so the first thing was clearing it all out. You guys saw that. And then the next thing was measuring for the removable wallpaper. Like I said, we're going to come in here and putty all the holes. I need him to take down this curtain rod so I can putty those holes or he can putty those holes. And then, yeah, we'll get started. Another thing, I was thinking about putting a picture light over this picture here. Ignore the gold, you guys. I keep finding lights that I want and I need six of them. And they either don't have six or the price goes back up or... It's going to take a really long time for shipping. So that's why the gold ones are still there. But they're going to leave. But anyway, I want to put a picture light over this picture. And possibly the one downstairs. Ignore my my pillows on the couch like that. Possibly the one over there. But I can't find a silver one that I really like. Um, I really like the ones that Valerie Crad um, showed on her channel that she used. Because they were magnetic and you could just take off the light part and charge it. But they don't come in silver. They come in gold, white, and black, of course. Um, and I just don't feel like when I buy something brand new, I need to bring it home and spray paint it. I don't like like to do that, especially with a $30 light. I feel like it should already come the color I want it. I didn't see any more that were just like that, that were silver. So help me out. What do you guys think? Should I add a picture light over this and this one down there? I just feel like it kind of elevates it a little bit. I don't know you guys let me know and then also this one here i don't know if you guys saw that one but i could do a silver one over that as well and then these two could be on the same remote so i could just turn them on bloop and it will come on and it would be really really nice and provide a really nice ambiance at night but we'll see you guys let me know anyway um i'm about to figure out what i'm going to do and i'll talk to you guys later Bye. hey y'all so it is still monday um july 11th and my system is back up at work, um, so yeah. But I'm stopping for a lunch break. I made myself this um, kale slash mixed green salad. It doesn't have any meat in it, just um, cherry tomatoes, cucumbers, and red onions, and then some seasonings, and of course, Olive Garden Italian dressing. And then I made myself a sandwich. I'm gonna cut it. This is just the extra onions that I didn't use. Um, I'm gonna cut it, and then I have a little bit of soda there, which I know I shouldn't be drinking, but. I only have a little bit left, so I'm going to just finish it off. But yeah, I'm going to eat this lunch and do some more work. I think Ronnie's um, just pulling up from getting his car cleaned. So yeah. Nom, nom, nom. Hey, guys. Um, it's still Monday, July 11th. I uh, got baby girl in the back now. Ronnie just left for work. It is 6.50 p.m. So her and I are going to finally head to Home Goods. Um, and try to look for some inspiration for baby boy. Ronnie took down the um, curtains and the curtain rod before he left, I believe. So when we get back home, I'll um, spackle the holes on all of the walls in the room so that we can then sand and at least prime the walls. Not today, but we'll prime the walls um, at some point 
the wall with the um, stripes on it I told him he didn't have to worry about painting that wall because I'm gonna put wallpaper on that wall or removable wallpaper so I don't need to waste like colored paint but we do have primer already so I told him to just put like two coats of primer on it and it should cover up the gray stripes um, and then the rest of the walls I'm thinking about like a green um, a green color to kind of go with the theme that I'm going for but I don't know we'll see I think that's the theme I want to go for I reached out to the um, creator on Etsy that creates the wallpaper that I'm interested in and she was telling me that I need to order a custom size she told me it's only $130 which isn't bad um, and it will fit the entire wall and it won't be too wide where I have to cut off too much of the design so that's good I'll um, probably place that order like sometime this week or next week it's no rush but I do want to like start putting things together to kind of get my juices flowing as far as design because I have a few other things on my plate as well so I'm excited about that um but I'm going to home goods just to kind of look for some inspiration I mean I'm not a hundred percent committed to the theme that I told myself I was going to go with if I find something else that I absolutely love then I'll change it and you know go from there but I just remember when I first started um, looking for stuff for Ray's nursery I found the first item at Ross and then I found um, actually the second item which was her ottoman that I absolutely loved I found that at Ross too and it was a really good price so um, I'm just hoping to stumble across something that actually jumps out to me jumps out at me as far as um, the theme um, and we'll see I don't know I like the animal theme a lot I do know that it is very common I've also seen a sports theme as well I mean eh. and then I've seen dinosaurs I've seen the transportation theme which isn't bad at all I like the transportation theme um, because then you could trans you can train I'm looking for a theme that I can easily transition from a nursery to a toddler room because I'm thinking ahead I know me once I get around one and a half I'm gonna want to switch out his crib and put a toddler bed in there and make his room kind of toddler friendly and cool so even with the transportation theme you could always put a race car bed in there or something like that um, with the dinosaur theme it's kind of hard because I don't really see any dinosaur toddler beds out there um i have seen a toddler pirate ship bed but i would prefer it to be a twin size bed and not a toddler size bed that uses a crib mattress and the top the pirate ship bed that i saw uses a crib size mattress so they would outgrow it really fast um the car beds you can get in twin size i've also seen the jeep beds and i think that would go really well with the like jungle safari theme because, I mean, Jeeps are off-roading vehicles. You can go through the jungle safari with the Jeep, obviously. You could even paint them and make it a different color. That would be cool. So, that's a theme. That's like the number one in my head. But, I mean, I did see sports. But I just, I wasn't moved by the sports either. Um, what else? I saw, like I said, dinosaurs. Which, Target has a lot of dinosaur items right now. That would be really cute for either a toddler room or a nursery but as far as the bed if you want a dramatic you know bed once they become a toddler there are really no dinosaur beds that look cool you know so i don't know um we'll see i've also seen like a lot of space stuff and astronaut stuff i saw a lot of space stuff at target as well um, but that's in my opinion for the older kids and not necessarily for a baby so I really I really wouldn't choose that for like a baby nursery you know and then they have other things like elephants or bears and stuff like that but I really didn't want to go that route I wanted to have a theme that I could carry through to a toddler room kind of like I did with Ray but Ray's room doesn't really have a theme it's just like girly you know <laughs> with the flowers and the pink and the butterflies um i didn't really want to pick a character or anything like that because i didn't want to you know be married to it for so long so i wanted to pick something that would withstand the test of time and carry her through a certain age 
and I think I I did that um, I'm pleased I haven't gotten tired of looking at her room especially since I put the house bed in there like it's the talk of the town all of her cousins and stuff they love coming up and playing and stuff like that so that's good that was a hit and I didn't have to change much in her room all I did was bring up her kitchen set which she recently got I put in a toddler like um, table and chair set and then I swapped out the crib for the bed so that was all I had to do. I didn't have to paint. I didn't have to change out her, um, you know, wall decals. I didn't have to change out her dresser, anything like that. Everything still went with the flow in the room. So we are going to take the glider out of her room and put it in baby boy's room. Um, but then that leaves us with a ottoman. But I don't think I'm going to get rid of the ottoman. I think I'm going to get... Um, Ronnie wants to put her little tent up in her room in the corner so she can play with that because she already has a table and chair set. Eventually, I would like to get like a little sofa or something like that, a toddler sofa or something. We'll see. Um, and then the mirror will come out of her room eventually um, and I'll mount a TV there. But for right now, she's fine because she don't even be in her room like that except to play with her kitchen set and stuff in her bed. So that's where I'm at with baby boy's room. So I'm just going to Home Goods. I haven't been to Home Goods in, in like months, you guys, honestly. So I'm actually excited to go. And I finally have time to just roam through the store without Ronnie rushing me or anything like that. Because it's just me and baby girl today. So we are going to go to Home Goods and kind of look for some um, baby boy nursery inspiration. And I may not find any, and that's fine. Um, but we'll see what they have. I just haven't been in so long. I'm excited to go. So. I'll bring you guys along um, if I find anything worth showing you. Mommy, if mom. not, oh, sorry, baby. She said, Mommy, whoa. <laughs> um, I went over a hump. Whoa, whoa. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> um, if I find anything, I'll show you when I get home, obviously, what I purchased. But yeah, I'm just going to go to Home Goods and kill some time and see what I can find for Baby Boy. If they have some gray, and I probably shouldn't do this. I should just pro probably put it on the registry and wait. But I was going to look for some of the gray velvet baby hangers too. Because I know I want to put gray in his room. And I chose gray because I always see gray. And a lot of retailers have gray. So if I run out, I can always just buy gray. And it'll be fine. Versus like a specific um, custom color that I found one time in Home Goods. And then when I need more hangers, I got to do a different color. Because I can't find them. Yes, baby. Did you see a deer? Oh, wow. She's been obsessed with deer since we went to Massena and you guys. They were all over that property, but she swears she sees them every time. You saw it? Yeah, cool. So, I don't know. I may get some hangers just to kind of hang his stuff up and get it out of the piles that it's in right now. in the um, On the dresser and in the baby bins and stuff like that. I may get some hangers, but I may not. We'll see what they have. Huh? I'm also going to look for a Mommy, stool. Yes? You saw a deer? Oh, wow. I don't like it. You don't like it? Oh, no. Why? Deers are nice. Deer are nice. But anyway, um, I'm also going to look for like a step stool for her for the bathroom because she always wants to stand on it to wash her hands and brush her teeth. And she has that at daycare, but she doesn't have one at home. So Ronnie wants me to look for one of those for her as well. So, yeah. We'll see what home goods has. Deuces, y'all. Hey, y'all. So, we're back from the stores. I don't know how this girl ended up with two types of candies from the stores. And was not good in neither store. She convinced me to let her walk around the store and not put her in the cart. I don't know why I listened to a toddler, y'all. Here. Y'all know she tore that store up, right? Rip, 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 run, run, run. Hmm. It's 9.55. I was like, I'm not even stopping at no other stores. We're going home. Anyway, I'm going to show you what I got. And then I'm going to go set the stuff upstairs in his room. Because I'm still uninspired. But I'm going to show you what I got. Okay. Most of the stuff I got was for baby boy. But I'm going to show you the things. I'm going to show you everything. So I went into Target specifically looking for these because I saw them on social media and I was like, those would be really cute 
on like a shelf or a stool in my bathroom once we do a bathroom makeover which is not coming anytime soon i just grab stuff when i see it and i store it away until i need it so these are called one glass jar with one spoon they're five dollars each from target and they just look very spa like so when i saw this i was like it's perfect because it has the spoon so for like bath salts you could also put um bath bombs in one of these you could put i don't know so many things in here um the little dried flowers that you put in a tub you can fill up one of these with so i ended up getting three of those you guys okay also from target um, baby girl is going to go see Peppa Pig at the mall soon, so she needed a Peppa Pig shirt. She doesn't have one. This was $8. They didn't have a 2T, so I just got 3T. I'll throw on some leggings or jeans with it, and it'll be fine. So I got her that. What do you want, baby? Okay, this is the last batch of candy, okay? Because your mouth looks crazy. It's all different colors. All gone. No more. Here. Go play with your toys. Go get your school bus. Okay. So also, uh oh, get it. Um, from Target, I went past the baby section because I always do. I was already in the toddler section getting her shirt, and you guys, the clearance. I couldn't believe that these two different aisles on both sides, like it was one rack, one rack, but on both sides of the rack, it had one side had. 30 to 70 percent off. The other side had 50 to 70 percent off, and they were like fully stacked racks and i was like this can't be really clearance like but they couldn't have put the sign in the wrong place on both sides so i filled up my cart and then i just went to one of the scanner machines to scan so this little um really really cute gerber outfit three-piece outfit with the hat the long sleeve shirt that says uh cutest little cub and then the pants with the feet in them this was ringing up 650 right i think it was originally like um $13 or something. So I grabbed that because he's going to be he's going to be born in the winter time and I want him to have like clothes, not just sleepers to go out in if we have to go to a doctor's appointment or we go to my mom's house or Ronnie's mom's house. I want him to be able to wear, you know, clothes as opposed to always sleepers, you know? So that was 650. You want some of these? Okay. So this was the real jackpot, you guys. They had the three-piece sleeper sets, okay? Three-piece sleeper sets, Gerber, Sleep and Plays. These were ringing up $6.50 for three of them. Originally, originally these were $13. So, I mean, this is $2 and like 30 some cents each. Like, you cannot beat that. So, this is not the two-way zippers, but that is fine. Like, I'm okay with it. It also doesn't have the mitten sleeves. But for him to be around the house and stuff like that, these are fine. And for $2.30 some cents each, you're not going to find it any cheaper than that. And it's Gerber brand, which is a tried and true brand. This one just says Brave Little One, and it has a fox with a little tail. Really cute. This one just has fox on it, foxes and then um, trees and stuff like that. And then this one says Wildly Cute, and it's blue. Super cute. So I got him these three. Yeah, I cannot believe these were ringing up. <laughs> for um 650 and then i also got him this one this set as well these were gerber as well and this one is like a little bear with the little furry ears so cute this one has bears on it black and white i know ronnie will like this because he likes the black and white stuff and then this last one just has gray dark gray with the trees again 650 for three i got size zero to three months um this size i got newborn because they only had newborn and like a larger size so i got newborn for that zero to three for both of these sets and then this last set is not gerber it is um cloud island which is like a target brand or something or a brand specific to target but this was also ringing up 650 so i went ahead and grabbed it i got these in zero to three months as well nine to twelve pounds um this one just says hello in a lot of different languages but i love the green you guys know i love the green and then this one is the muted green with the white stars. And then this one on the back just has different animals on it, which is really cute for $6.50, y'all. What? $6.50? Y'all, can't beat it with a stick. All right. Um... 
what else? Let me put this stuff away. Um, I also went into Marshalls, you guys. Eh, they didn't really have much, but I'll show you what I got. I did get some pepper and some more um, pesto. Ronnie really likes this pesto aioli sauce. Really good. And this is a bigger jar of it. I think I paid six bucks for it, but it's really, really good. And then I got another pepper grinder because we were out of the black pepper one. This was $6 as well. So I got another one of those. Um, that's all this in this bag. That's trash. Okay, let me show you what I got for baby boy out of Marshall's because I only got him stuff, honestly. They didn't have anything for his room, so that is what it is. I don't know why they take the hangers on some stuff and then I should have told her. Ugh. Anyway, they had this one, you guys, in a size newborn. So I figured Ronnie would like this. These were $14.99. Nike. And it says Nike on the back. Ray had some of these when she was younger. But this was newborn, so I got him that one. I also got him a zero to three months. Huh? You want these? Okay. Um, I also got him a zero to three month one in the navy. And this one just says the Nike right here. And to go along with that... This one, they didn't have the black and white ones, but they did have the navy and white Nike socks. These were only six bucks for two packs, and they go from size newborn to six months. So I feel like that'll be cute for him, maybe when we go to someone's house or something. Um, I also got him these two little pacifier clips because they're just matching the theme of everything else that I got for the room. So I got this blue one just because I like the blue. But I got this green one mainly for the room. Because, I mean, not that he's going to be wearing it in the room. But I just like the natural tones of this. It was speaking to me. And they were on clearance for $8, $8 each. Which is actually really expensive. But they're really trendy. The bead ones. So I got him two of those. And then the rest of the items I got from Marshalls are clothes. I got this little. Like they let you keep these hangers. But they take the other hangers. I don't understand that. But anyway, I got him this little play suit. It doesn't have the feet in it or anything, but it says little brother. And I'm just obsessed with anything that says little brother or big sister right now. So this is zero to three months. This one was $5.99, so I grabbed that one. I got this one um, mainly because I like the gowns at night for babies. Um, but this one's really cute. It has like a little elephant on the um, chest area, and then it came with a hat. This was $9.99. Um, but this is also supposed to be for like a photo op. I don't know if I would use this for a photo op because of the elephant on it, but it's really cute. And it does have the fold over mittens to prevent the scratching. So I got that in three months. And then I saw this, this is like a seven for all mankind. I don't care about the brand, but I did like the, the camouflage and the fact that it had the navy blue. And then I liked the little pocket with the cognac color label there. It also came with a matching hat. This one was $6.99. And then I got him another three-piece outfit. Um, this one just says Daddy's Little Cub. And it has, I don't know if these are polar bears or what, but really cute. And then the um, footed pants with gold moons and stuff on them. And it's a gold moon on the shirt here. So I got him that. That one was $8.99. Y'all, that's everything that I got from Marshall's. Um, moving along. Hold on, y'all. Got that for Marshalls, you guys. And then, what are you doing? No, put that back. Let me show them what I got. Oh, I got, um, okay, so from Home Goods. The rest of the stuff is from Home Goods. Let me show them. This is Ray's. I got her this preschool match it mania thing where it's supposed to be for ages four to six. So she's technically not ready for it. Okay, I'm gonna open it. Um, it's really cute. It's called Match It Mania and it has the animal families, first words, mathematics, and all about me, like um, areas of the body. Um, so you're supposed to, they're like puzzle pieces. So you're supposed to match the word with the picture. And for the animal families, you're going to match the baby animal with the mommy animal, basically. And they also have the words on there. So we may do this for a little bit today and see if she can't figure it out. I'm thinking about maybe doing um, the first words one because maybe she can get that. Um, 
and I'll just hold the words and I'll tell her to give me the picture of whatever the word is. Yes. Okay, we have to open it, lady. You want to do your puzzle? Here. Go sit at the table. Go sit at the table. Okay, so um, moving on to the rest of home good stuff, you guys. I bought some stuff for his room. I'm really still uninspired, but I'm hoping this will look right once I place it in the space. So I decided I'm going to do the animal theme. I'm going to put my own spin on it, but I'm going to show you guys what I got. Okay, so, and these are like muted colors, so this is why it jumped out at me. So they, of course, they had so much transportation themed stuff, and I was so pissed off because I was going to do that, and then I switched it. I don't know. Anyway, so they didn't have much in the animal theme, but they did have this. And I thought this pillow was really cute and it was like muted and I just liked it. It spoke to me, okay? I, I just liked it. So I got this. This one was $25, which is really expensive. And they only had one. So I got that and then I turned the aisle and I saw that they had the matching um, like bin to it. So I got that this one. This one was $24.99 as well. Um, and then I looked down and I saw they had a smaller one. So I got all three of these. Uh -oh. This is the third one in there. I mean, a second one. So I got two, both of the bins they had and I got the matching pillow. I don't know if it's gonna work, but I grabbed it because I saw it. I also got this three pack of wall frames because of the natural wood tones. It reminds me of trees and like woods in the safari and stuff like that. So I got this and maybe I'll put like some maternity pictures or something like that. His newborn picture or something like that on the wall in there. Mommy, mommy. Mommy, mommy. You, ah, you did it! Go do it again. Good job, mama. I also got this elephant, which was expensive as hell. And I don't know why I got it. But maybe I'll put it on like a dresser or um, a shelf or something. This was $20. Um, but it, it matched like the muted family. Like... Do y'all see where I'm going? Like, this is a lion on here. Like, it's very muted, you know? I don't know. Um, this was $20. And then I picked up these little things. One to go on, like, a side table by the glider. Maybe one to go on his dresser. Because of the bamboo print, this made me think of trees. Like, I don't know. So these were $7. So I got two of those. And they hold a 5 by 7 So I got two of those just in case. And they kind of do tie in with the wood ones, but they won't be side by side. So I got both of those. And then lastly, these two things were on clearance. So I grabbed them. I'm not really sure what I'm gonna do with them, but I saw this big thing here. I also saw, oh, you know what? I forgot to go back and get it. It was a um, hamper. I may go get him the hamper as well. But I saw a hamper that was kind of similar to this, but it, it was really nice. It was. $50, I think. This um, big one was on clearance for $12. So I figured this was nice to put like some blankets or something in beside the crib. And then they also had a smaller one that was on sale as well for eight bucks, nine bucks. So I got this as well. You did it? Good job, baby. So I got this as well. So I need to go put this stuff up in the space and see if it like speaks to me. I know, like I said, I know the, the mommy, wallpaper that I want to put in there. Mommy, I'm hoping this stuff will mommy, mesh with it. If not, I can always mommy, take back. You did it. Big thumbs up. <laughs> She's doing her puzzle, guys. I can always take it back. I know I'm probably going to keep the picture frames, the baskets, the elephant. Yeah, um, but I'm just not sure about this stuff. You guys can let me know what you think down below. Um, but I guess I'll have to wait until we put up the wallpaper in the spacing and, and kind of see i don't know but i like this because it's not too juvenile you know it doesn't look like the really bright bright colors or anything like that i don't know but we'll see and we'll see what ronnie says and then now you can see why i got this because it kind of matches with this like perfectly not that he'll be in this room wearing this you did it okay so yeah that was everything we got today guys See ya.